my bathroom has essentially the best lighting, but who wants me, who wants to watch me do stuff in the bathroom? Like, I mean, I don't know, some people might be into that. Hey guys, so it's Ashley Christina and I am, um, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty into this look. Um, I think this is definitely something I'll try in the summertime when I'm a little bit darker. Um, but I wanted to do something mainly to accentuate my um, love for Chickadee, which is that lovely orange color from Makeup Geek. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it before, have seen it before, and you have seen it used before in a lot of different ways, but this is just my take on the color. I wanted to really try something different. I am not big on, I'm not big on using color <laughs> at all um, for multiple reasons, but m one of the main reasons is because colors are scary if used incorrectly, um, <laughs> but in this particular case, I do consider orange um, a neutral, so it blended very well with, you know, your typical browns, your warm browns, and so I wanted to go for a potential summer look. I know it's spring, and I know it just recently snowed, but I'm hoping that with some warm colors that spring will come and then summer will come and we can like get on with it and wear flip-flops and t-shirts and stuff like that and you know all that good stuff but um I specifically kind of go through what I do for my eyebrows in this so this is kind of like a chickadee makeup look slash eyebrow routine slash you know just summer you know <laughs> just a summer look um I finished the video with a different makeup look on and then um, while I was off camera I didn't really like it anymore so I switched to these three lipsticks and the two of these are from the nudes from is this, this is Maybelline um, yeah this is Maybelline so um, I switched to cinnamon and bear all and then I went over it lightly with this very old um color burst color um creme brulee <laughs> everything's like creme brulee everything <laughs> like everything's like the same names but um yeah so at the end of that video you will see me um using two of the colorlicious colors that just recently came out not recently but you know that i purchased i used these two at the end and then i was like no um this ended up being more red or more pink than I wanted, so I decided to just kind of go with a mute and just let the eyeshadow stand out, which is probably what you're supposed to do anyway, but I'm not a professional. So I hope that you like this look. We'll get a little bit closer. Um, I'm losing my lighting, so sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I hope you really like this look. And thumbs up. Um, hopefully no thumbs down. <laughs> and comment, um, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next week. in NW25 for MAC and I'm going to dab it on my eyelids just to conceal everything. I'm trying not to bring it into the corner of my eye. I, f I feel like that's a, a main mistake that I've made in the past of putting too much product in certain places too early. I feel like um, I have more success with my makeup if I deliberately place it in the right places, but I am not a professional, so um, do as I say sometimes, um, but not as I do sometimes. I'm deliberately putting it on the outside to begin with.
very pigmented stuff. <laughs> so smoothie, I'm reading them, and creme brulee, and just kind of mute it out a little bit because it's a little bit much. I'm putting this on the lid and on the outside. The infamous 217 MAC brush, blending brush. I'm gonna take Chickadee and dab it on my brush. Now I'm very, I'm not aware of the pigmentation of this. So if this looks terrible, I'm so sorry. And we're gonna just go for it. I'm gonna grab a tight, I'm gonna draw, it's called a contour brush from e.l.f., but I use it to get in my crease a little bit better. I'm gonna take this really dark color. I think this is, uh, not yeah, Cocoa Bear. I'm gonna grab Cocoa Bear, lightly tap it, and then I'm going to focus it on the outer V. So I don't want to actually, I don't know, I, I, I mainly just want to define the smokiness in the corner. So I'm almost making like a, I'm like slightly gliding it against my eyelashes, but also slightly bringing it up into the crease. And we want to intensify the color, so we're gonna grab our blending brush, and we're gonna grab Chickadee again, and really focus it in the crease. We're gonna back out, and now we're gonna do foundation, and powder, and contour, and all that fun stuff, and um, I'm also going to um, be a little bit more, um, be a little bit more precise about exactly how I do my eyebrows and some products that I've been using and things like that. I've been using the Aloe Herb and Rose Water from Mario Badescu as well and I'm going to um, lightly spray my brush and lightly spray my face. Mainly I'm trying to focus it below because that's where I get a lot of the my issues from. Um, I don't really want to use a lot of foundation today. I, I want to use literally just like enough. <laughs> I want to use enough to get away with because I really have for whatever reason been like not into foundation lately. So um, my brush is wet <laughs> and that's what we want and I'm going I'm basically dabbing it onto my brush to get the, uh, the least amount possible. Going in with my pure BB cream in the medium sheer tint shade and I'm going to use that to help brighten my face and help brighten my skin tone. Um, I'm sure makeup artists around the world who if they ever watch my videos are probably going what? what are you doing <laughs> that makes no sense you know but i the uh 310 from maybelline fit me is actually slightly too dark in person slightly and so the medium sheer is actually too light so it actually evens out and concealer and conceal some stuff or try not to scare the children you know I like to let it sit for a second I like to let it dry and then I go in lightly and tap it into my fake a lighter shade of the fit me concealer and we're gonna lightly do the eyes just to brighten I'm gonna use my finger
I have a translucent powder that I haven't used in forever and I want to get back into using it so I'm going to test that out today and if it turns into a catastrophe again I apologize so this is just a translucent powder in a pink shade pinky shade even though it's translucent it does have an implied color go in with the contour kit and put that in the appropriate places where we put concealer so around the nose first I'm gonna go in with this might not even do anything but I feel like it does so we're gonna just go with it um, it's 240 in the Fit Me Press Powder, and I'm going to go in in all the places that I'm going to bronze. Almost like a transition shade. So around the forehead, and with the darker color, we're going to mix these two colors and just go to town. Now we're gonna add some highlight to the skin. Um, I am personally not a huge fan of the highlighting powder in the contour kit. Um, I personally like Got A Glow from e.l.f. It's considered a blush, but I'm not even really quite sure why. <laughs> um, I think that it's fantastic for everything but a blush. So <laughs> I'm going to apply it in the um, in the appropriate places for a highlight. Now we're going to zoom in again and we're going to finish up the eyes and do my current eyebrow routine. I'm going to just take a blending brush and just hit up chickadee below on my lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with Coco Bear and just continue on the color that we used up here and we're going to just lightly bring it towards the corner. Taking a clean brush and just cleaning everything up and just blending. I don't really like. I don't mind a blown out kind of messy eyeshadow look. Some people are like very particular about where they're where they put their color and stuff, but I don't really care. I think it looks nicer when you just kind of. let the color live and I'm gonna take shimmer shimmer and just highlight the inner corners and bring it down on the lower lash line I can just a uh, brown highlighter and tight lining for my current eyebrow routine, I've been using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit for a while. I have purchased it and then let go of it and tried other things and then purchased it again and, you know, long story short, I'm back with it. I did one more step to my routine and so I'm gonna just show you that right now. I like to start at the end. Um, most people say to start at the end 
but this is for me one of the main reasons why I started the end because that is really where my eyebrows are lacking um, I try to use most of the products here and then I make a simple line and just to give myself a place to kind of take it and then push the product up even though I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair they still can leave the natural the, the shape in which I originally placed them so I go in with the L'Oreal brow stylist plumper and comb through them to make sure that every hair stays in its place I start here in case there's a lot of product and then once I have kind of gotten through that then I take the excess and I you know bring it towards the front so that's just a tip because sometimes you will go in and it just puts a ton down and then you know it doesn't look as natural anymore and then I don't even dip it back in I, I just rotate the brush on the other side for whatever's left And that's my eyebrows. Those are my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my mascara and then do a few touch-ups and show you the final look. 